What is kindness part two? Have you seen Harry Potter? I'm going to use Harry Potter as an example of something that I believe is a really important part of kindness that I think often gets overlooked. So that's why I wanted to make this very short video. Uh, but Harry Potter, you've probably heard of him, little guy with round glasses, magical boy. He has an adopted family that hate his guts. You know, if you've seen the film or you've watched the books, read the books, you know what I'm talking about. But he has his aunt and uncle look after him because his own parents die when he's a child, uh, when he's a baby. So he gets brought up by his aunt and uncle who hate his guts. They can't stand him. They make him sleep in a small cupboard. They're always criticizing him. And no matter what he does, he's like the evil child. And what happens is in those books, you know, over time, he goes off to magic school, he becomes this amazing wizard, he's so caring and brave and courageous, but his family, his aunt and uncle, can't see any of that. Whenever he goes home, he's still the evil child. And, you know, it's a great example of what happens when we judge someone a certain way, because no matter what they do, whenever we see them or we think of them, we can only think of them in the way that we've decided they are, you know? Like, it's like everything else gets filtered out because you've decided that they're evil. And I think we've all done this to people at certain points. We've probably done it a lot with ourselves. And one of the things I think is true kindness is when you don't do that with people and when you're like an animal or you're like a, a tree and you just, you observe people but you don't judge them, you don't have an opinion about them. And I've met very, to be honest, I haven't had tons of people in my life that don't judge me. And I'm not saying that's people's faults, but I think often our society brings people up to to think that way. You know, we always judge whether something is right or wrong, whether a person is right or wrong. So, you know, I really value people in my life that don't judge me and uh, I make a conscious effort to be around them as much as I can. So, you know, that's one of the elements of kindness in my view. So I'd love to know what you think about this and whether you uh, have people around you that don't judge you, whether you pe have people who do judge you. And, you know, if you do, then it's just, it creates magic, like in Harry Potter, when you start to spend more time with people who don't. You don't have to, like, never see the people who do judge you, but, you know, just to be aware of that, that that's just the way they function so that helped me a lot I hope this can be of help to you and let the Harry Potter be unleashed <laughs> see ya